Hey guys, Ryan here. Today we're going to be doing a trailer breakdown. This is for the this season on the Walking Dead Season 8. So first up, we have a shot of Rick walking and Daryl riding his bike. Really interesting, wondering why are they separating? Where is Daryl going? What's going on with Rick? Next up, we have Tara and Jesus at Sanctuary. Just a random house scavenging. Not completely sure, but they both have silencers. So that's a great, great sign to know um, and see. I hope to see what they're doing. Next up, we have Negan with Lucille, you know, pet and her. Like, oh, I can't believe you actually are dead in real life. Or like, this is what I've actually become or something. I don't know, maybe he's feeling bad or something. Not very sure. Next up, we have Daryl riding his bike. And you can kind of see the Jeep behind him, which is very similar to what we saw in the trailer. Um, of the Jeep following him, him shooting the bike, Rick jumping into the other Jeep, which plays a big part later. Next up, we have King Ezekiel. It looks like he's looking into a mirror. I want to know what's going on. Because some of these shots are kind of confusing. Like, I thought you guys, I thought everybody was going to attack outposts. Some of them look kind of, like, different than what you would actually regularly see. Next up, we have Jerry Hand and King Ezekiel at Walkie Talk. Like, maybe Jerry and King Ezekiel are separating. Talk to me when you reach where you're going. Whatever you need to do. Just communicate with me somehow. Just so we know who's where and what's going on. Next. So, then we have Carol. And you can kind of see King Ezekiel in the background. Really like this one because it's like, what are they doing? Maybe Carol spots a walker. Maybe she sees a savior. They're about to attack. Next up, we have another thing from the trailer of this was actually in the original trailer of the five minute one. As King Ezekiel walking down, you have all the kingdomers. This is at the kingdom, it looks like most likely. And next up, we have kingdom people going somewhere. So then you have Daniel right here in the middle. I feel personally he's going to die this season, but no exact, you know, con confirmation or this is just prediction. Then we have King Ezekiel reassuring people. First win leads to the second win leads to the third win, which really leads to us winning in general. So I can't wait to see him giving more speeches. He is a little confident this season, so let's see where that goes. We have him reassuring Carol. We will not lose anybody. I do not think that's going to happen. I think within the next five minutes of him saying this, they'll lose somebody. It's just the world that it is these days is really sad. So I hope they don't lose anybody. My prediction is Shiva or Jerry. Um, but, yeah, I hope we don't. Then we have Rick and Daryl going somewhere. It looks like an outpost. I want to say it's an outpost, but I'm just not sure yet. I can't tell if it's an outpost they're going to or if it's uh, just some place they're scavenging for food. Then we have Rick saying... If those guns get to the sanctuary, it can lead to a way out. So it sounds like the sanctuary got a hold of another outpost, and they're trying to get the guns to the sanctuary so they can escape and try to defeat Rick and the survivors. Then we have something. I'm personally thinking it's them getting trying to get the guns to the sanctuary or something. I don't know. So personally, I really do hope that they do get the guns to the sanctuary. So then it's like a big oh no moment for the show of will they escape and then they'll have another war on their hands of the gun to gun which is really cool but i don't know it, it's just going to be kind of cool to see what way they go with this it looks like they're carrying the guns out now so i kind of hope it leads to a little battle but at the same time i want them to be trapped in there but at the same time i want them to escape so we can get a little bit more action this season because 801 was amazing full of action just all together it was very very good so Next up, we have Tara and um, Jesus and some other people. You can kind of see Diane in the background. And outposts, I'm assuming I'm assuming these are all outposts. I don't know what else to assume, but attacking, trying to win the war, taking people down. So, I don't know. I don't think we'll get any main character this, this season, maybe besides Morgan. But then we have Tara saying, I have a job to do. So, I don't know what this is, but her saying something like, I got to get revenge for Denise or what. I don't know what's going on with Tara in this shot, but... I'm hoping it's something really cool that'll kind of make the fans go, uh-oh, what's she doing now? And then Jesus is like, we're not here for revenge. So I'm not sure if this is her trying to get revenge for Denise, for Glenn, for Sasha, for Abraham. For, I don't know who, but I don't, I'm kind of confused with what's going on at this point, but hopefully it's something cool. Next up, we have a Jeep scene, just like from the trailer, you know. We got uh, Rick in driving one Jeep, and then you have a savior, I'm assuming, driving the other Jeep. Um, Rick comes up beside him. Hmm. How is this going to work out? Because it looks like Rick does jump into the Jeep, most likely kills the guy, I'm guessing, and kicks him out. Not positive, but I don't know. It's Walking Dead, so you never really know what's going to happen. I ho I'm hoping something cool happens. But then we have Carol saying, if they if they know before we get in there, this has already started before we're done, or 
something like that. I can't exactly remember what, exactly what she says, but this is really cool because it looks like we're going to get a lot of Carol in the next few episodes. So then you have her in an outpost with the savior down the hallway. And then she does, at the end of this clip, she does move out of the way. So I'm assuming she has something else planned or she's just trying to get out of there because, I don't know. Then we have Morgan and some walkers, you know. This part was cool. So you have two of the two shots from different directions, one towards Morgan and one towards the walker. Really cool. So you have the walkers, like, trying to get through the fence. I'm assuming it's at the outpost that they left off at, at the last episode. I mean, at the end of the last of last episode at the sanctuary. So, I'm just, yeah, you can kind of see that's Morgan's head, his ear. Um, and then you have the walkers at the fence. So I don't exactly know what they're trying to do there. But then back to Jesus. So I'm very happy we're getting a lot of Jesus this season, or at least it assumed seems like you have eduardo you have some of the other people from hilltop kingdom alexandria attacking an outpost so it looks like we're gonna get a lot of attacking an outpost this season then we get shiva with walkers i'm assuming this is probably from next episode which is my prediction that this will be shiva's last episode you know this exa looks exactly like it is in the comics of the sh of walkers surrounding her and then they sh as she saves king ezekiel then we have daryl on his bike, it looks like he's wiping out. Assuming that's Daryl, doesn't look like Dwight because Dwight still has Daryl's vest on, and it looks like Daryl's bike and Daryl's crossbow in the back. So just have to wait till the next episode to see. So then we have one of Negan. So I'm gonna leave it here, guys. I hope you guys enjoy next episode, which is next, which is this Sunday. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you guys next time.